Hi, this is Inform TV 100 Trending News. So today I'm going to start with a story about heart health, why it's important to get a physical every year and also to get an EKG, electrocardiogram of our heart. Even if we are healthy or we believe we are healthy, we should be getting our checkup. So Inform TV 100, click the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. So the first story is, uh, we will call him Thomas. Thomas felt like he was in perfect health before being diagnosed with a life-threatening life-changing health condition. As a former athlete, the 23-year-old from Florida prioritized exercise and maintained a healthy diet over the years. When he started a new job as a physical education teacher, he decided to find a hobby to keep himself active. I started to fall in love with long distance running. So I signed up for my first marathon with my sister, November, 2023. But the exciting milestone in his fitness journey was about to turn into a scare. After completing his marathon, he said he felt something was wrong. And uh, he said, he didn't necessarily panic, but he had just ran 26 miles. So I figured that he figured that he wasn't, you know, was supposed to have those feelings. Uh, despite, you know, brushing it off, he said that uh, the, the feeling returned a week later. He said he woke up and his heart rate was beating fast and he knew something was wrong. He said he felt like a flutter in his chest and that something just wasn't right. So he went to urgent care. They put him on the EKG, the monitor on his chest, and they told him, you have to go to the emergency right away. You have atrial fibrillation. And this is a 23 year old uh, who said he's always ate clean. He said he didn't drink alcohol. He exercised, he worked out. So, Atrial fibrillation, it is a quivering or irregular heartbeat that can lead to blood clots, stroke, heart failure, and other heart-related complications. Symptoms include heart racing, chest pains, shortness of breath, lightheaded, and fatigue. Or you may have no symptoms at all. While hospitalized, uh, he underwent, and it's called an ablation, a surgical procedure to create scar tissue inside the heart to help him maintain a normal rhythm. However, he had to stay in the ER due to complications with his vision. He also learned after the screening that he had a hole in his heart. Uh, he was diagnosed with heart disease and he had to have a heart procedure. He said he lived in fear for months. And then he, he thought, I'm so young. Uh, why, why me? Why this? So he met with numerous doctors in a cardiologist, the heart doctors, neurologists, and told him even his healthy lifestyle could not have prevented the disease. His cardiologist told him that he remembers sitting in the hospital and thinking, oh my goodness, I've eaten clean. I don't do any of those things. So clearly this was supposed to be, this was not supposed to happen. So he admits that uh, understanding his diagnosis or his problems helped him to move forward and gave him peace. So this is why we live without fear we, we eat right the best that we can. We exercise the best that we can. But those doctor's appointments are very, very important. Very important because there are just some things that can happen.
no matter what. And it sounds like one he had, was born with a hole in his heart. So that was something that went undiagnosed for years. He was not diagnosed. From TV 100. And we are going to go to our second story. Please hit the like button. Please hit the notification button. And please subscribe if you haven't already uh, done so. So the next story, uh, it took me a few days to report this story. It's a national sad story, but it is a lesson. It is a lesson to be careful who you are around. You have to be careful. So please hit the like button. Please hit the notification button. And please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And remember, health is wealth. And please remember to V-O-T-E. That means everything. If you don't V-O-T-E, if you don't if you don't vote for your interests, someone else will for theirs. And it's very terrible when their interest doesn't align with yours. And they, uh, certain people have said what their goals is and they want to, and what they want to do, what the cuts that they want to make that are important for quality of life. And if it's not important to you, Think about your family, think about your loved ones, think about your neighbors, think about your teachers, think about what has become so important that we advocate to maintain our vote and our voice. So the next story that I have as I said, it's, it took a while for me to uh, do this story, but I, it's very important. Uh, this is a story of a missing woman. A missing woman found dead on side of the road after allegedly being held hostage. Well, she was uh, held hostage. Her name is Mahogany Jackson. We will say her name, Mahogany Jackson. Uh, she was only a 20-year-old woman who was found with gunshot wounds. Uh, she was taken from place to place in Birmingham, Alabama by so-called people that she knew and that she trusted. They lured her to a residence they abused her horribly, tortured her, took her to a couple other places, and then they um, shot her, and then they murdered her. And she did have a she she does have a, a a small child. So please be careful who you trust. Be careful who you are around. And her name is Mahogany. Jackson. Uh, she, Mahogany Jackson had vanished over the weekend, last weekend, prompting the Birmingham Police Department to issue a missing persons alert. Uh, February the 25th, Jackson was described as wearing a blonde wig, black shirt, and blue jeans. She had sent a distressing text message to her family around 7.30 a.m., indicating that she was being held against her will and urging them to contact the authorities. Jackson had even shared her location with her mother and sister, according to uh, reports. The location tracked to Serenity Apartments in Birmingham the Powderly community. However, upon police arrival at the building, Jackson's was nowhere to be found. Tragically, on Monday, February the 26th, 
Around 2.19 a.m., officers responded to a distressing report of a deceased individual discovered on the side of the road at 17th Street Southwest and Laurel Avenue. It was Mahogany Jackson. She had succumbed to apparent gunshot wounds. Uh, Despite the efforts of Birmingham Fire and Rescue Services, Jackson was pronounced dead at the scene. And so an update on this story is that there were eight individuals were arrested and five of them were women. She was uh, uh, SS assaulted multiple times by multiple people and just horrible. And one interesting, one sad uh, part of this story is that when she texted her relative, this is this is what I was what I was um, told that someone um, had in their investigation that uh, her family did not see the tax. They were parent was driving was driving somewhere and just really did not see that tax until her sister saw the location and uh, contacted her parent. And then that's when they were able to call the police. So we've got to be cognizant of our phone when someone, you know, just kind of check when we get uh, phone calls to make sure we notice, you know, uh, that we check out the call because it could be a lifetime life threatening emergency. So be careful who you align yourself with. Uh, tell your children, tell your family, be careful. There are some dangerous individuals out there and they are disguised as uh, acquaintances. They are disguised as friends. So this is Inform TV 100 giving you the Inform TV 100 trending news to our Inform squad. We had to pick a name for our channel, for our subscribers, the Inform squad. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Uh, you truly appreciate it and uh, value it. Thank you so much. God bless you. Don't re- please remember to register to vote. Uh, contact your district. Make sure you're on the list. So many people have been uh, removed from the rolls, uh, mysteriously been removed from the voting rolls. So check now. You have, you know, write, write down and make sure you're on the list. If you are not on the list, then please re-register to vote. Your voice counts. There have been people who were voted into office who won in districts with less than 20 votes. Every vote counts towards a future. The future of our nation, of the people who live in our country. As I I quoted uh, James Baldwin, his quote, he said, I critique my country because I love it. So this is Inform TV 100. Have a nice Saturday. Have a nice evening. As Joe Madison says, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? And remember, health is wealth. Know your numbers. Get your checkup. God bless you. Love you. Inform TV 100. Bye for now. Bye.